Life has knocked you down, kicked you in the gut. But God wants you to experience his closeness. He wants to heal your broken spirit. Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Some things happen in our lives that cause emotional and psychological hurt or trauma. Trauma can happen to anyone. For example, a tragic accident, serious illness, or abuse can lead to feelings of fear and anxiety. Dealing with trauma can be especially difficult, but you don't have to deal with it by yourself. Psalm 34 verse 18 tells us that the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Broken here means to break down or in pieces. Broken hearted, crushed or destroyed. Heart represents the inner man, the mind, the will, and the emotions. The mind is the engine by which we function. If the engine is faulty, we will live a life of constant ups and downs. Contrite in the verse means to beat to pieces, break in pieces, bruise, crush, or destroy. If you are feeling destroyed, crushed, broken, or broken hearted, God is near you. He dwells with you. He wants to revive you and save you from the spear. But if you don't know God, or if you don't have a relationship with him, you cannot experience that closeness. People feel emotional pain or depression in, in real ways, in the body, in the mind, in the heart. It can also affect us physically. So getting honest with our emotions and pursuing healing is vital because it impacts all of who we are and how we live. God can heal your broken spirit. How do I know that? Because I've been there. I've been in that broken place. I've been hurt. I've experienced grief. But during those times, if it was not for my relationship with God, I don't know how I would have overcome the dark place I was in. I tried Jesus, who remained constant in my life. You've tried numbing the pain of depression or brokenness with drugs. The substance abuse temporarily subside the pain, but you are left becoming addicted and dependent on something that's harmful. You've turned to alcohol to drown your sorrows. It takes the pain away for a moment, but when you wake up, you realize the pain is still there. You are overeating. You find yourself eating any time you feel sad. Compulsive shopping puts you in a good mood, but again, it's only for a moment. You are self-harming, cutting yourself to try to ease that pain. Everything you've tried might provide temporary relief, but in the long run, it's not sustainable and it won't alleviate the pain, but causes more harm. I want you to know that Jesus came to heal you. In Luke 4, when he stood in the synagogue and spoke, he was letting them know that he was the fulfillment of Isaiah 61 when he said this, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and the covering and the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. He came to heal you and I. When our spirits are crushed, when we are broken, he's with us when we've lost all hope, when the pain of life or existing is unbearable. 
He helps us to carry on, to make it through the hard times. When the wind is knocked out of us and we are depleted, he has what we need to take that first step of getting up again. Share the weight of your brokenness with God. He sees the troubled places in our hearts and offers to fill them up again. To fill us up with his Holy Spirit. The presence of God can eliminate the pain of existing. Heal the wounds of life. Fill you up when you feel empty. He helps you to face psychological trauma. Face fears and alleviate anger. Feelings of hopelessness. Loneliness. Sadness. Guilt. Shame and self-blame. He can wipe away the feeling of being emotionally numb. He gives you hope when there seems to be none. It's time for you to experience God's closeness. He wants to heal your brokenness, your broken spirit, your broken heart, and your broken life. When we recognize and receive his love and the gift of his presence, the Holy Spirit, our hearts are calmed, which frees us to move forward. So open your heart today, acknowledge him and reach out to him. Talk to God as if you would a close friend. You know what? He's waiting to hear from you. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana.